All right, Mikey O, we about ready to count this thing down? You better, you better believe it, my friend. Let me get this video going. There we go. Yeah. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignite. All righty. <laughs> you guys look like you had a fantastic time in New Orleans. Oh, unbelievable. In fact, I'm still here. Uh, my wife and I are still in New Orleans as we speak. In fact, we're uh, we'll be down on Bourbon Street here in about uh, forty-five minutes. Uh, we're oh. having we're we're having dinner down there tonight. So that background you see behind me is a reality here in about forty-five minutes uh, when we get done here with the uh, corporate update call. We're going for rice and beans tonight. So hey, by the way, I do want to welcome every single one of you uh, to our corporate update call. We are going to have our Sion founder, uh, Mr. David Hart, on tonight with news announcements, all kinds of. Incredible things happening with the company. We have an all-star panel tonight. Everybody from Dr. Phyllis Terry, Thomas Flowers, Ambassador Deborah Taylor, uh, De obviously Jalen Maria Roberts. I mean, I mean, absolutely incredible people. Pastor Mel Keys, Dr. Phyllis Terry. Uh, it's going to be an absolutely incredible panel. If you did not get to see our training uh, on Saturday, if you were not at the event, it was absolutely unequivocally off the chain. It was better than any Tony Robbins, uh, Brenda Bichard, uh, you know, any training you've ever been to. It was as good as any one of those. You know, somebody could have easily charged $2,000 uh, to be at that training we did all day. Uh, but let your heart not be troubled. We recorded the whole thing. Uh, Mr. Cameron has the video recorded. He's going to be editing the pieces out into little uh, bite-sized pieces. Uh, but equally important, we're going to be replicating this format a lot more in the near future. So, um, you're going to get to hear from a ton of people tonight. So what I want to do is I'm going to get out of the way and get this over to our master of ceremonies, Mr. Mike Oliver, uh, who does the most important thing that we do every single week. And that is obviously acknowledge all of you uh, who have gone out there and rank advanced in the company. And so without any further ado, Mike, I turn it over to you. Thank you, Todd. And uh, I appreciate it. And I'm so glad that everything went so well. I could tell by all the photos on on Facebook and social media that everybody was just having a blast too. So anyway, uh, we wanna uh, welcome everybody, like Todd said, to our Trevorium Zoom, and we are going to celebrate some rank advancements now. And if you're new to Trevorium, the first rank here at, at our company is what's called a director. Now, if you achieve the director level, all you did was to achieve this level is you went out and told three friends that wanted to take advantage of our wonderful travel product and they joined you just for that reason alone. Or they decided, you know what? I wanna do what you're doing. I wanna build a business. And so you got three people to agree with you to either use your product or uh, join you in business. And now you are a director and your, your business now is in the black, okay? You are now making the same amount of money that your, your monthly business uh, expense is costing you to be a, a Trevorium partner. So we had uh, 20 new directors this last week. And so congratulations to each one. And uh, I know that you're gonna work hard now. You're gonna go out and find some more folks and you will become what's called a one-star director. Now at the one-star director level, you're making, oh, between four to $700 a month. And uh, your business is starting to grow. You're getting excited. You're seeing people that have the same excitement level that you do. And we had uh, six new one stars. I'd like to go ahead and congratulate Mr. Octavio, Octavio Cordero. Congratulations, Octavio. Anna Jimenez, congratulations, Anna. Enrique Treto, congratulations, Enrique. Lawrence Laves, congratulations, Lawrence. Perla Maria Salgado, congratulations to you, Perla. And Tatiana Zilan, congratulations, Tatiana. Uh, way to go, everybody. Now, if you'll put that same effort that you put forth to become a one-star director with a different group of people. That's a very important thing. You wanna write that down. You wanna go out and find new people all the time. But if you put the same effort in, you'll be what's called a two-star director here at Trevorium. Now at the two-star level, you're making between, oh, uh, 25 to $35,000 extra a year now, and you still got your job, but you're making a lot more income now per year, 25 to 35K. That's if you take advantage of all the bonuses that are available at this level. And I wanna congratulate Carlos Nieves. And Carlos, pretty soon here, I'll be sending you a, a email to ask you for your ring finger size because we also award you with a custom-made two-star director Trevorium ring. 
Uh, this was designed by our CEO and founder, Mr. David Hart. It's a beautiful ring, and it really is a great recruiting tool because when you're wearing that ring out in public, man, it pops. It really stands out, and people want to know, hey, what is that? That looks like a championship ring. Who did you play with, you know? And uh, you can tell them, hey, I ain't playing with anybody, man. I'm taking care of business with Trevorium. So anyway, congratulations, Carlos. We are so proud of you. We want to thank you for your leadership. Your team is growing. We know you're excited, and there's going to be a lot of excited people that follow after you. Now, we had a real special announcement tonight because the goal here at Trevorium isn't to become a director. It's not to become a one-star director, although these are all steps along the way in your success, and it's not even to become a two-star director. Uh, the goal here at Trevorium is to be what's called an ambassador because there is no other lifestyle that compares to the ambassador lifestyle. And we have a brand new ambassador, Miss Alicia Cripalde. Congratulations, Alicia. This is a six-figure income plus all kinds of other benefits and, and perks. And uh, I know that Alicia will be going on a, uh, what is that, a shopping spree at, what's the name of that place? Yeah, it's Louis uh, Vuitton. Louis it's Vuitton. A, no, is it Target? No, it's um, <laughs> Sear. No, uh, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Louis Vuitton. That's right. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> yeah, a little bit different between Target, Coles, and Louis Vuitton. <laughs> yeah, and Mrs. Hart, the queen of um, Trevorium, she she hosts that day, that party for all of our ambassador women. And I think Mr. Hart, he does something special for our ambassador men. So, anyway, congratulations again, Alicia. We are so proud of you. Thank you for your leadership here at Trevorium. And Todd, that's going to wrap it up for the day. And I'm going to turn it back to you, my friend. All right. We have a lot of stuff going on tonight. So I'm, I'm excited to see it all. Yeah, we've got, again, an all-star lineup for every single one of you tonight, if you can't tell, by all the guests that we have on here. Uh, just a real quick comment about Alicia. I mean, her and her best friend, her partner, uh, Melanie, they're now both ambassadors. And so wow. they've been traveling the world together. In fact, when we first met them, they spent six months in Australia. Then they went to France. They spent six months in France. Then they went to Mexico, spent six months in Mexico. Now they're back in France. Of course, Melody had gone ambassador. Now her best friend and partner, Alicia, has gone ambassador. And I mean, so between the two of them, we're talking about a multiple six-figure income. They're not even 30 years of age yet. And they're able to do what they want, when they want, with whom they want, any time they want. They market themselves as digital nomads. Uh, I mean, they are the quintessential example, the paragon of what it means uh, to be a digital nomad because they are literally traveling the world, living their life, you know, again, you know, living life on their terms. So congratulations to them, to all the two stars, directors, one stars, every single week. We have people out there demonstrating that people are winning here and winning in a big, big, big way uh, at Trevorium. Uh, now, by the way, before I turn it over to our CEO and founder, Mr. David Hart, just a couple of comments. Uh, we had the world tour here in New Orleans. Uh, if you've never been to New Orleans, you have to put it on your list. Uh, this is just one of those cities that's got so much tradition, so much history. Uh, I shot a video earlier today. In fact, I put it in uh, Dream Trips, uh, but I was down at the St. Louis Cathedral. And behind the cathedral, you could see the, uh, you know, the, the statue of, 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 of Andrew Jackson. Um, he was the seventh president of the United States. Uh, he was the hero of the Battle of New Orleans, which saved the entire city. Uh, of course, so he's, you know, commemorized all over the entire city. Uh, at that very same spot, Mike, is where they signed the Louisiana Purchase in 1808. Now, that is what bought one third of the United States. So if you look at, we had the West Coast, we had the East Coast, but that whole section in the middle, I mean, literally one third of the entire territory happened at this signing in 1808. Now behind that scene, you can see the St. Louis Cathedral, which was built in the 1700s. It is the oldest cathedral in the United States. In fact, the Pope, uh, His Holiness, has done mass there twice. Uh, it is absolutely incredible. In fact, I happen to see the bishop uh, we went to service on Saturday, on, on Sunday there. I, my, my wife tried to get in there to see the cathedral. I think it was on Friday and it was closed. And so on Sunday, I'm like, hey, they got a service there at 11 a.m. I could do a tourist attraction and church at the same time. That's a twofer, Mike. <laughs> and so <laughs> we, went, we went there, I met the bishop, uh, his holy, or his uh, uh, grace, and 
I, I, I commented on the church and uh, the bishop actually says, yeah, they don't build them like this anymore. Um, so, I mean, it's absolutely a spectacle to see. Uh, of course, you have the Mississippi that dumps into the Gulf of Mexico right here. Um, you have all of Bourbon Street, which you see right behind me. Of course, that's a, a fake image there behind me, but that's you know, here in the French Quarter. And when you look at Bourbon Street, it's about 14 blocks. And it's 14 blocks of buildings that are 200 to 250 years old. I mean, some of them are as old as the country they lie in. Some of them are almost as old as you, Mike. Uh, and <laughs> I, I, you know me, buddy, got to get that in. We love you. I always make jokes on Mike. But on a serious note, I mean, the buildings are 200 and plus years old. When you come here to New Orleans, it's like you walked back in time. I mean, you're, they look today the way they looked 200 years ago. They have a very strict code. You cannot change anything about the outward appearance. They have some of the best chefs in the world. They have a food cuisine here that is totally unique. You, the food you eat here is unlike any food you will find anywhere on the planet. They have their own style, their own, you know, the, their own Cajun seasonings. Um, it is a, a flavor that you can only experience here in New Orleans. People from around the world come here uh, to be a part of that. There's Cafe de Monde, uh, which has a line that goes around the block. So again, there's so much art, history, some of the best musicians in the world uh, from jazz perspective are here. And of course, everybody got to come here and not only be part of all this entire scene called New Orleans, uh, they got to be part of the training that we did on Saturday, which again, is better than any Tony Robbins, any Jim Rohn, any Les Brown, Brian Tracy, Brenda Bichard. I don't care who you're going to. We had an all-star lineup. And all of that, Mike, was a few hundred bucks, breakfast included. I was down there this morning and I was talking to the chef. I mean, he made me the most incredible omelet. I sat with uh, Ambassador Deborah Taylor and a couple of her two stars. We had a great time, but I had a great time talking to the chef. Uh, he told me to, where to go today and get black and red fish, which is what I had for lunch. So amazing world tour. Uh, we have tours like this all over the world. And, and again, it's not just going to some place. It's an experience. And being here with everybody else, it's an experience you cannot buy online. So, hey, with that, Mr. David Hart, Gene and I want to say thank you. Uh, we are still here. Uh, we'll be flying home uh, tomorrow morning. Absolutely incredible. She's never been here. Uh, we've been checking off the sites. We did the river cruise today, went up the Mississippi, uh, saw the sites there, uh, doing the, you know, just you know, did some of the, went on Royal Street, had a lot of the antique shops there. Absolutely incredible. So thank you for all that you've done, for all that you and Adela do. And without any further ado, I'll turn it over to you, sir. All right. All right. Well, we have a, a power packed call tonight. Lots of uh, exciting things happening. Uh, you know, this weekend was an incredible weekend uh, to just uh, take in and be part of. And for the people that showed up to the event, wow, did they ever uh, get more than they probably bargained for? I have to tell you, I've been around the space for three decades. I've watched and been um, par participated in and paid for different trainings throughout my, my entire history in the industry, three plus decades hundreds and hundreds of trainings. And I have to tell you that I believe that this last weekend on Saturday, the people that attended, um, they got a million dollar training um, because what they learned and how they learned it and the passion they learned it with um, is all the difference in the world when becoming successful. You know, Trevorium impacts people's lives in such a positive way just through the product because everybody wants to travel and everybody wants to have life experiences. And the people that don't want to travel and don't want to have life experiences are people that just haven't been educated yet in the value of, of what travel can bring and, and the opportunities uh, and how it can enrich their lives. You know, our, our company may be a travel company, but uh, really the opportunity, uh, the travel is just a byproduct of what it's really about. It's about the opportunity. It's about enriching people's lives by showing them how to create an online business that they can go out and do anywhere in the world and uh, create income that's not based on trading dollars for hours. And, and there's something special about that when you think about our daily residual pay plan. And uh, there is just nothing like it uh, in, in terms of when you start compares, comparing different types of businesses that you could be involved in. Uh, there's, there's nothing like Trevorium. Our, our product is gonna be here 100 years from today. And guess what? 
the two industry makers, the two companies in the industry that uh, control the travel industry create the, our marketplace here at Trevorian. And it's never going to go away. And, and because of that, you should feel comfortable in the opportunity that you have before you. Our company is in our 10th year doing business. We say it all the time. We're debt free. We're in 60 plus countries. We pay commissions on time all the time. We deliver on our product and services and goods. Guys, that, that statement right there alone should create uh, comfort in terms of uh, for you to go out and build with us. And what's going to take place, this is a generational company. Um, it, it will be here decades to come. Uh, that's the way that we've structured it. And that's the way that we're building our business. So, um, you know what? I, I mean, I, I believe that people, the people that showed up to the New Orleans event, I believe that these people were, they, they elevated their three different beliefs, belief in the company, um, the belief in the opportunity at Trevorium and belief in themselves. And I would encourage you, if you didn't get a chance to go to an event like this, that you do not miss the next one. You know, if, if I were you, I would definitely go to events that we plug in trainings to our world tour events, at least one of those a year and at least one world tour or a getaway a year. And if you do that, you're going to you're going to put yourself set yourself up for success here at Trevorium. So. Uh, final thoughts here, just real quick. I just want to just kind of acknowledge uh, Alicia Cripaldi uh, going ambassador in our company. You know, she is uh, now a six figure year income earner. Um, she's in control of her time. And uh, more importantly, you know, she's been at this for a little more than three years. And she's created a six figure year residual income. You know, most people go to college for four years and create $80,000 plus in debt. And then they got to figure out what they're going to do after college or after. Yeah, they got to figure, figure it out. How am I going to pay off that debt? How am I going to get my career started? And I'm not talking, I'm not knocking education. I'm just saying that, hey, you know what? For those people to take this business serious, um, there is tremendous opportunity and tremendous upside. And, uh, you know, we, we congratulate her success. I know that there's going to be many, many, many other ambassadors uh, breaking and coming Um and hitting those levels of achievement as well. So guys, it's been a, uh, I, I've been actually at it here for about six weeks of travel. I think actually longer than that. Let me, middle of May, I've been pretty much living out of hotels and suitcases for the last, since about the middle of May, we've been all over the place and just having a blast and uh, look forward to a couple of weeks. We're going to be in Paris doing a huge event in Paris and ignite your your business event in Paris, uh, in Paris. And um, you know what? Uh, there'll be another one coming up in September in Cancun. So there's plenty of time to plan for that one as well. Todd, I'm going to give it back to you tonight. And I know we got a panel of people that are going to come on and, and kind of share with folks. I, I guess in final thoughts, I just, I love the, there were so many statements uh, made over the weekend. And, uh, you know, Phyllis Terry, I just love <laughs> you got to <laughs> participate in your own rescue. <laughs> you got to be active. So, so, so many great things happen when people take action and you don't have to be perfect when you take action. You just, you just got to, when you're sharing the opportunity with people, you know, this message will fall on the right people that will get involved in your business. And the next thing you know, it takes off. So Todd, go ahead. Now I know we've got a panel of people coming on. I want to get, we want to get out of the way and, and allow as much time as possible. So we respect people's time. Yeah, it, it only David. I mean, it was such an unbelievable event. I mean, the last you know four days, and you know over the coming weeks, I hope we can bring on you know Alicia Davis and the entire Davis family. They just got back from Putacana. They had the entire family in front. Well, not the entire, but the ones that were there. There were like seven of them, but then in, in Putacana. They had 23 family members go on that world tour. And so if you wanted to kind of see a, a visualization, I mean, a living personification of our product and what it's meant to their family and the trips to Dubai, the trips to Cancun, now the trip to Putacana and all the different places they're going and you could feel their heart. I mean, you could, you could see it. I mean, it was one of those just, it was incredible to see. Um, I wish we could bring on Reverend you know, Judy Cunningham. I know she was there. I wish we could bring on, by the way, Regina Johnson. Happy birthday, Regina. Today is your birthday. 
And so uh, happy uh, birthday. Happy to birthday. You. Absolutely. Yeah. Happy birthday to Kayla. Uh, happy birthday to Lee Deem. Um, I know we have a lot of birthday people going on around here, but again, if we could bring all of them on and just let them kind of pour out their heart, I mean, you would realize this format that we have where it's a world tour where you're experiencing, you know, world-class culture, maybe in a city you've never been before. You're doing it for virtually nothing. You're doing it with all kinds of people you know, love, and care about, or you will soon know, love, and care about. And because this is the Trevorium family, having that shared experience, having the training day, and as we replicate this all over the world, we're going to Paris in a couple of weeks. In fact, a lot of the people you see on the screen uh, from uh, uh, Pastor uh, Melkis uh, to Dr. Phyllis Terry, Ambassador Deborah Taylor, uh, I, think, I think Ryan might be coming. Uh, Thomas Flowers, I don't know where you're going, but you're going to Orlando and other places. You're hard to keep up with. Uh, but I mean, lots of people going over to Paris. That's going to be incredible. A lot of these people will be in Cancun. Uh, so it's going to be absolutely amazing as we continue to go out and travel the world together, build the business together, train together, and change lives in the process. And David, that's your vision, you and Adela. We thank you from the bottom of our heart. Oh, I'm excited to see what happens in the next decade, what we're able to accomplish as a team of people and how we're going to impact people's lives in such a positive way. Yeah, absolutely. And by the way, for the group that we have here on the screen, um, all of them, I think minus Apostle Daniel Wilson, spoke and trained on Saturday. Now, if you missed it, I promise you, you missed something of the for the ages. Luckily, we had Cameron from the corporate staff there. He had all these cameras set up and recorded everything. And so he's starting to break that up into small pieces already. Uh, so we can kind of get that out to you in bite-sized information uh, each segment. But every one of them were epic. Every one of them had standing ovations. Every one of them uh, were impacting people in a big, big, big way. And so I asked Jalen Maria to come on tonight uh, and kind of just kind of run our all-star panel here. And we're just going to kind of round robin and kind of kind of get all of you to chime in here from the uh, different viewpoints, different experiences. Uh, and even some of the different things you talked about at the event, because I know that Cynthia Sly, Cynthia, you were unbelievable, uh, but you talked about taxes. You talked about how this entire thing uh, can be paid for by Uncle Sam. Uh, right there, you're seeing uh, Daryl hold up the magazine for Apostle Daniel Wilson, who is actually on an airplane right now. Uh, we're not going to have him on here tonight, but uh, he was unbelievable. Uh, of course, he is the spiritual father of uh, Deborah Taylor. He had a mega church. In Chicago, his church had as many as 10,000 people that attended. And so you can imagine he's probably a pretty good speaker. And so anyway, yeah. <laughs> so with that, Daryl, by the way, welcome back home to you too. Yeah. Miss you guys already, but it was great seeing you. It was so much fun. Uh, both Daryl and Maria spoke on Saturday. Uh, you know, Maria had her segment. Daryl had his segment. And when it was all said and done, I remember my wife said, what'd you think of Maria? I go, we don't have her speak enough. She just, yeah. we do not have her speak enough. Uh, we could never have her in front of the room enough. So I'm going to turn this over to you guys for some of your thoughts and let you kind of begin to round robin the whole thing. Well, hey, first, we just want to say unbelievable. Uh, like, like both you guys have already said and everybody's already said before, uh, we've been at events, you know, Dave, you know, we've been at some of the same events and this was just truly uh, extraordinary. And, and for those of you that really want to reach your goals and objectives in life, you got to plug in and plug into the event like tonight is one of those events, but uh, Saturday's event was was times 10. It was a 10X type of event. I just enjoyed the speakers. Uh, I kind of confessed to uh, Dave and to Todd that in my 30 plus years in this industry, I've never sat in the room the entire day, uh, you know, other than the lunch break we, we all had. That was my first time in 30 plus years I uh, was just staying the whole time. And, and that's got to tell you something. It just was that uh, stupendous, so, uh, the, the type of people that were speaking, the messages that uh, were there. And, and again, I give a shout out to uh, Ambassador Taylor. Her dinner she had with her team was unbelievable. If that group doesn't just uh, flat out explode here, the next two weeks, the next 30 days, the next 60 days, the next 90 days closing out this room, something's going to be seriously wrong. But uh, I believe in what she's doing and what the team is doing. Uh, it was truly phenomenal. So Marie, any thoughts you have before we, we take this around the, the, around the well, country? Well, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I mean, it's called Ignite Your Business, Ignite the Ignite Conference for a reason. And a lot of people had their business ignited yeah. um, from the excitement, the motivation, the inspiration. 
um, especially the first half of the more uh, first half of the uh, the conference. It was really exciting, and um, a lot of people got inspired. A lot of people um, were able to figure out their belief. I mean, I think they really solidified their belief, to be honest, as Dave mentioned, you know, belief in the company, belief that um, this industry is real and there's people actually doing it and 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 uh, persisting and uh, do, persevering. So it, it's um, it was really a great uh, um, conference. You know, I felt that it was TED Talk after TED Talk after TED yeah. Talk. And it was just like you had it on repeat, you know, for um, just hearing it over and over and it really got into your soul. So if, if you weren't there, we wish that you were. Um, but you know what, those that were there uh, got their plentiful into their soul. Yeah. And uh, now they have Trevorium all inside of the, every little aspect of their DNA inside of them. And I felt that um, they got some knowledge up here too as well. But um, it, it was really great to um, have that uh, I, I loved it, um, every aspect of it. Thank you, David and Adela. Again, it was wonderful. The the lunch, um, I heard from a lot of people. That was really great too as well. And uh, we really appreciate it. Best, best, uh, awesome conference. It really was. So Ron, we're going to go start with you. Uh, I had a great time just hanging out. You and I and Maria and, and Tammy, uh, obviously we rode back to the uh, airport together and I had dinner and did some different things together. It was so awesome. I don't think we've had kind of had that hanging out in 20 plus years yeah, like that. So Ryan, again, you've been to a lot of conferences I've been to. You've been to hundreds of others that I haven't been to. What say you, what did this weekend do for you? And what do you think it's actually done for this amazing company? Well, there, the, the one thing that I remembered from when we went to Cancun was how welcomed we were. Tammy and I, it was kind of our first event we were kind of getting going. We had hit one star. I'd been on a couple of calls here or there. And we showed up in the embracement of people who had no idea who I was. They, they just maybe had seen me or Todd would recognize, say my name, or they recognized me from a, a rank advancement somewhere from a director to a one star or whatever the case is. And we just remembered it. And it's interesting because I, I see Mike is on the call tonight. And Mike was one of our guests that was there. And on Thursday night, I sat down, we had dinner with Mike and I said, Mike, there's two things. You're going to learn a bunch this weekend. You're going to learn about the company. You're going to learn about the product, but more than anything, you're going to learn about the people yeah. and what this company has that I've never been a part of in my life before is people who will embrace you. You don't know who they are. They're not going to shake their hand. They're going to come up and they're going to hug you and they're going to exactly. And the embracement is just like a giant squeeze and everywhere we went, I feel that that's what this company's had that I have not been a part of many companies like this, if any ever. It's the family. When you're in on this company, it doesn't matter, you know, whether you're on a world tour that there's no training, if you people they sought out other people and you can tell a Trevorium member. And it's just amazing the family side of it, the love. I know that I, I know that Mike got to meet a lot of people as everybody else that were guests there. The great thing about this also was Dave saw the magic of the moment. We kind of have done this, you know, a little bit, but Dave saw the magic of the moment. So now you're going to see these type of events where it's a five day world tour and everybody does and has fun, but it builds up to that Saturday when bam, here we go. Now let's go get it on. By the way, this is now a business trip as well on top of everything else because we've wrapped around a day of business. Your tax expert can tell you more about that, but that really makes this trip not a vacation, but a business trip for sure. So unbelievable. I don't even know what else to say. And I know a lot of people are going to be here saying great things. We we launched it with Ambassador Deborah Taylor. We finished it up with Daryl and then David and in between squeezed everybody else in. The okay. training of the afternoon was about the nuts and the bolts. And I feel like you had inspiration early on, nuts and bolts later on wrapped it all around. So I don't want to step on anybody else's time. I just can't wait for the next one. Um, Guys, I wish I'd have had 20, 40, 60 people there, like the beautiful lady in the corner down here, Ambassador Deborah Taylor, who packed the house with her people and her guests. 
I mean, she's not, she, right. She's not coming out kind of going upward. It's a rocket ship yeah. straight to the top. Here comes two star. Here comes three star. I can't wait to see what happens as she becomes the ambassador of the year as we move forward. Yeah. And one shout out to Dr. Phyllis Taylor, jaw dropping, absolutely jaw dropping moment as she was there like, I could, all I could do is shake my head the whole moment. There goes Todd, right? Unbelievable. Absolutely. So back to you guys. I want to hear awesome. everybody else. Well, thank again, thank you, Ryan. It was awesome. Tell Tammy we love her. And we had just an amazing time uh, with her. So, so you were talking about the Ambassador Taylor. Ambassador Taylor, again, I just have to you know, bow down to you. Uh, again, the leadership that you showed and you always show was just uh, amazing. Uh, you inspired and encouraged so many people. I'm glad I'm part of the line on the WIAs now. And and I'm, I'm a little teeny piece of that. But again, we're so impressed with you and what you did with your team and what's about to happen. But uh, what, what were some of the takeaways that you have based on this weekend? And I know you've been talking to your team members all day. I've been talking to them as well. But what is the objective here, the next two, three weeks, the next 30 days, 60 days uh, moving out? Well, we definitely finna get some of Davis mo mo more Davis money. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Oh, Amen. Yes. <laughs> uh, we, we expect um, many people ranking up. We're actually going to start doing some live events. So I'm getting ready to do some actual live um, events. Uh, so I'm going to encourage our team to do those. Um, I, I strategize with uh, the Milwaukee team. So they will be, be going live um, at a cafe um, on third. I think it's Thursday night. Uh, we will go, uh, me and Alicia and the Davis family and some of us in Memphis will be going live at one of the pizza places that we used to go live and start doing live events. I'm also encouraging our builders group um, and so we just strategize to um, be able to do that. Um, we already have Zooms every day, uh, thanks to this phenomenal team that has been, Mel just did his tonight. Dr. Phyllis is on Thursday, I'm on Wednesday, Thomas is on Tuesdays, uh, and then on Fridays is uh, Tanya, uh, Evan, Barnes, and Marcy. And so we already have uh, Zooms every night. Uh, and I know that, uh, we, we are just going to do amazing things. I'm actually going to be going on tour uh, a lot with Apostle Wilson. Uh, Apostle Wilson is actually on his way to Phoenix, but me and him yesterday did a, um, a presentation. If you get an opportunity to see it, uh, we went to a mega church uh, in New Orleans who of a young man who has joined, has joined Trevorium Apostle uh, Gulledge, I'll get a shout out to him. And uh, we were able to, at the end of service, uh, Mel actually watched it, but at the end of the service, we paid your video, uh, the, the big secret, right? Mm -hmm. The yeah. news. And so Apostle Wilson, grabbed, he loved, you know, he loved, he's a TV producer, so he loves that kind of stuff. Yeah. And uh, we played it at the end of the service and we probably had about uh, hundreds of people that actually are interested in the business from that church. So I will be meeting with the first lady and the pastor, and we'll be strategizing with them on how to uh, set it up. So we collect. We we had a table. We were able to collect cards. Uh, people were excited about it, uh, and the pastor actually did the. It was be like at the benediction. So he actually asked them to stay, and they all stayed, which was kind of crazy. And then everybody rushed out to the table, and it was great that I had. Uh, some of the team members there because I had four team members with me a uh, two star Kathy Brown, uh, attorney Rhonda Reed was with me, and uh, Marceline, who, who um, at one time was a director. And so they were able to work because else I would have been overwhelmed and we were able to work the table. So, I mean, I, I know we're going to get together um, and it's just going to be moving. I already know. Uh, that what that where Dr. Phil, I know how she moves her team. I know how Thomas moves his team. I know I mail so it's just on and popping. I'm, I'm excited, right? And I got I thank God for the opportunity uh to speak. I will definitely be in Paris, I will be in Cancun. See, I believe and I try to teach this team, um, the ones so the um I believe that you do not miss an event that you're qualified for. 
never miss an event that you qualify for. Now you may can't go to internationally, but we had as many people as possible. We did some, we did, we did some things. I downloaded uh, uh, a lot of money to help people to get there, but I was glad that I did because I wanted them to get be be there, right? So I helped buy plane tickets, pay whatever I needed to do. But as a leader, you can do that. Now my CPA got to help me figure out how I'm gonna cover all that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you do what you gotta do because if you're not willing to invest, and I told you how much money I put aside to invest in this team every month. So yeah. you, you, you gotta be able to do that. And if you're not willing to do that as a leader, then you gotta really think about as you get into these positions, what is it that you really wanna do? I know Dr. Phyllis and Dr. Chair, uh, her husband made a sacrifice and rented a van and drove people down. Mm -hmm. uh, Right. And so uh, we had a young lady. I got to say this and then I'm done. We had a young lady that drove from Sunday to when do we stay at there? Wednesday. She drove from, from, to, from Portland, Oregon, from Portland, Oregon. And she had not been on a vacation or anything in years. I mean, literally years. And she drove her car. She said her the, just to get there in gas was eight hundred and thirty dollars. So y'all know I got to find a way to give her some money, <laughs> right? But, and I had the opportunity to sit down with her and strategize. And before we left, she had already had, she had never had a response in the business. And before we left, uh, we were able to uh, get her a couple of partners already. So I'm, I'm excited about that. And then the last thing I would say is I appreciate that um, you and, um, uh, you coming with some of your team members to the dinner that we had. It was amazing. Uh, people were on fire and the contribution that you made towards the dinner because we bought it. We bought people a $70 dinner for 20 bucks. Uh, and so that was, I mean, I'm not bragging. I'm just saying, hey, our team was excited about it because we literally paid for the dinner. Um, but we did it because out of the goodness of our heart and because we wanted people to be able to do other things. And that's what leaders do. So I appreciate you guys stepping up um, and sewing into our team. I appreciate all of the leaders on this screen. Cynthia Sly has become a dear friend of mine and y'all knocked it out. Boom. I am so proud of the team legacy leaders on here. I, I, I really am. And it brought, it was almost like being in Memphis again, right? So uh, I, I was excited. So that's what I want to say. Um, you're going to be hearing great things. And I think by the seventh, we're going to be in, got a whole heap of bunch of Davis money. Yeah, uh, that, that is so awesome, guys. Truly unbelievable. And uh, again, you walk the walk, you talk the talk, and you walk the walk. Now, you said some things that the next person, Cynthia Sly, needs to come on and, and show you because we start repeating this every 90 days or whatever it ends up uh, being. Uh, she's going to show you how you can actually write this off so you can go have an amazing trip save a bunch of money on an amazing trip and be able to write it off and then you know learn some more knowledge learn how to grow your business to earn even more money so with that Cynthia Sly you had an amazing segment there that uh, a lot of people are opening up to and once they get that one little fact you know that should make everybody sign up into the business because of that one area that you trained on you taught us on this past weekend that make, can make all the difference in the world. So share a little bit about that and uh, your excitement this weekend. And what did you pick up from this past uh, uh, New Orleans event? Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I tell you, it was such an incredible weekend. Oh my goodness. It really, really was. Got so much out of it. And, you know, you guys, I just want you to, you know, just understand that once you decide that you know you're ready to move it's like the stars and the moon and everything just lines up and honors your decision you know most of y'all know that i've been you know september it'll be two years that i have been in travorium and just kind of been you know sitting on the sidelines you know enjoying the membership but not really building like I know how to build. And I tell you, I made a decision probably about three weeks ago, three, four weeks ago to really start building this thing. And I've been having, you know, uh, Zooms with my people. I just got off of one 
right before I jumped on this one. And I tell you, you guys, when you put the effort in, it will show up. It will show up. We had our first person to become a platinum director uh, yesterday, and she did it like you know, within, you know, a few days and we got a lot of momentum going and everything. And so I'm just really excited about, you know, what's to come because, you know, I've been watching you. I've been watching these leaders and you guys are first class and, you know, Coach D, I tell you what, she is a, whew, she is a builder. She's a beast, as they say, you know, she is in beast mode all the time and everything. And I'm just, glad to be back in the fold, you know, you know, just having that fire and that desire to build. And so if there's someone out there that is just listening, you know, and you've been in Trevorium, but Trevorium hasn't really gotten inside of you, you know, make the decision, make the decision. And I promise you, when you make the decision, the people will show up to run with you. The people will show up to work with you. And so, yes, I had the opportunity, you know, to train on the tax advantages of not just a home-based business, but basically an app-based business, you know, your phone. And I tell you, you guys, you know, don't just lead with travel. I know we're so excited about what we have in Trevorium. And I think that kind of tripped me up a little bit because, you know, I was new in Trevorium and we were dead in the middle of the pandemic, hadn't been on a trip yet. You know, uh, you know, people weren't even leaving their houses, you know, and I was excited about the travel. So that's all I pretty much led with. And, you know, and it's it's a kind of harder decision when you're just focused on the travel, because then people want to know, okay, you know, will I use it? You know, oh, I got a timeshare, you know, all of these objections. But you guys, when you focus on the tax advantages of a business, you guys, you know, I mean, it's just a no brainer. And then when you focus on the daily pay, that was the big switch for me. You know, because let's face it, you guys, a lot of people feel like vacationing and travel is, you know, going to see grandma, you know, or, you know, uh, going, you know, we were talking about it, uh, Thomas, we were talking about, you know, a lot of times when family gets together, it's a funeral, you know, or a family reunion. You know, and then here we come talking about these world tours going to Bali and Dubai and, and they're like, you know, wait, you know, will I even use this membership? And so what I have learned to do, and it has truly, truly helped you guys, I'm telling you, is just calm down some on the, you know, uh, trips, you know, and the vacations, because everybody can't meet you, you know, at that place. But, you know, find common ground with the tax savings of a home-based business. Find common ground with the daily pay more than anything, you guys. People need money. Even if they have a trip, airfare is eight and nine hundred dollars. They need money to buy it. And you guys, what really hit me, and then I'm going to end. You know, a few weeks ago, I was looking, you know, at my pay card from Trevorium, you know, get ready for New Orleans because I like to spend the money that's on there. And I said, you know what, Cynthia, you have done absolutely nothing in this company. Absolutely nothing. It's shameful. You know, it is truly shameful. And this company has paid you over eight thousand dollars from the day that you joined ten dollars ten dollars ten dollars ten hundred dollars hundred dollars ten dollars you know the bonus and i'm like if you put some effort into this could you imagine what this would have been and so that was it for me the light switch went on i'm all in you guys i'm excited <laughs> You guys, let's do it. Let's blow do this it. thing up. Let's make this thing huge and let's do life. And let me tell you one more thing that really got me to say, okay, Cynthia, this is crazy. You know, when I really had a heart to heart 
meeting with myself, I said, you know what, no matter what company I work or what I do and everything, no matter how much money I make, I'm going to spend it traveling, you know, <laughs> vacationing, right? And you guys, definitely freedom looks good on you. Freedom <laughs> looks good on you. You are traveling the world. You're going here, there, everywhere. And I'm like, girl, you are crazy. You better get going. And so I'm all in and we're going to make this thing happen. All right, back to you. <laughs> that is so awesome. Hey, we've awakened the giant. Uh, yes. And uh, I can't see, I can't imagine a wait to see what's going to happen uh, the rest of the year with between you and your group. It is truly on be believable. Well, guys, we're going to just keep uh, this moving. I see TJ down there. We're going to throw it to a guy right now. And and uh, he did a great job on mindset. And, mm -hmm. you know, he's he just an ambassador for the company because he travels all the time. You look at his his uh, his uh, Facebook page and he's just traveling all the time, doing amazing things. But TJ, hey, you got on the uh, yeah. guys this past weekend and you got a chance to talk and tell people a little bit about your story and encourage people motivate people. Uh, tell us a little bit about what your experience was this past weekend and what are you willing to do and what are you looking at doing here uh, from this day forward? Man, oh, thank you so much, you guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, David Hart, for this amazing weekend and everybody that I got to see and hang out. It was like a big family reunion. Um, enjoyed that. Enjoyed hanging with my team and um, family. <laughs> my family and friends on the state team, but they family and friends to me um, that I absolutely love and adore because they got the mindset. But when you're around people who have a similar mindset like you, it's just the most amazing feeling to have. You guys, I'm telling you, it's just the most amazing feeling to have because you're around people who think like you or is trying to elevate to the next level. So they're trying to bring you with them, right? They're not trying to bring you back. They're not trying to take you down. They're not being negative. They're speaking nothing but powerful information into you to grow you to the next level. And that's what we received this past weekend with some amazing speakers, some amazing information, some amazing training that just changed a lot of our lives. You up this weekend. I don't know. I mean, it's amazing. I talked about mindset because I tell people mindset, when you change your mindset, it will change your life. And I'm talking about thinking outside the box, getting out of that bubble, getting out, like Cynthia said, starting to travel and add that value to your life because it looks good on us. It looks good on us. Y'all see, y'all, you, you see it. You just glow, right? <laughs> you know, you just glow when you come from an amazing place, just like we're down in um in New Orleans at the, I mean, that was a four diamond hotel. I don't know if y'all caught the picture behind the counter, but at a four diamond hotel for the price we paid with all of the, the goodies that came with it, including the number one thing was the training that we received on Saturday. That was more wealth than anything because knowledge is power knowledge is is money right and we received that this weekend with our mindset so i was just amazed um, just just amazed by everything and I'm extremely thankful for all of the speakers and everything that they poured into me this weekend and just to know that they poured it into people that i shared this concept with and the people that they shared the concept with and and, and so forth you know just right on down the line because that's what we got to do right so i'm um, super excited jordan is in me been in me since day one right <laughs> been in me since day one and i'm so happy and proud of it because i got able to travel as much as i want to it freed me from a nine to five um being a, a, another additional source of residual income so i'm definitely thankful for, thankful for that as well but just left from down there you guys from down here in orlando florida now uh, so i went from one one amazing hot place to another amazing hot place with my family and we about to have a good time but i'm thankful for everybody my team it really sparked um a, a fire in my team you guys um and in, in, in my friends and family um that it, it just was everything to me. I, I don't know, but I don't know even how to explain, but it was just everything to me because when you see that light go off in somebody that you've been pouring into and it finally goes off, right? That mindset shift and you like, they got it. That is more wealth than anything, y'all. So I'm super excited about it. Thank you guys so much for your time. Let's like I said, get, jump into anyone you can get into, ignite your business. This, when you say ignite, 
that fire just got ignited in over a hundred people that was there this weekend. And guess what? They're not going to go out and do the same thing and ignite a fire in someone else, sharing those blessings and letting them bless other bodies and it will come back unto them 10, 15, 20, 100, you guys. So I'm definitely looking forward to my goal is definitely ambassador and above. It is coming. You guys, my, my teammates even said we're ambassadors. Like I said, six months. Watch out, y'all. We're coming forward. Let's go. Uh, awesome. Well, one of the things we talked about is it, visualizing it, seeing it even before you actually uh, hit that position and seeing how it tastes, seeing how it smelled, all of those things. I know some of the trainees going to be coming back out here, hopefully in another few days or so. And, and my recommendation for those of you that were there, watch it again and again and again. And those of you that weren't there, I would set up team meetings, group meetings and watch it together, then discuss each segment. That's how it's going to work. I just came up while we we're watching this DAP. You know, everybody knows what DAP is, but decide, activate, and plug in. Because everybody that I know that plugs in on a consistent basis that you don't have to tell to be on this call, that call, or, you know, you don't have to beg them to get to an event. Those are the ones that are successful. So if you want to be successful, you have to make a decision and then plug in, activate, and then plug into what's happening. And if you do that, uh, with the fun trips that we're talking about, with the tax savings that we're talking about, uh, with the compensation plan, your life is going to change, but you have to make a decision. You've got to plug in. With that, let's go out there to uh, San Antonio, Texas. Uh, we've got uh, Pastor Mel, uh, who was on point uh, this weekend with Kendra. And uh, so, Pastor Mel, you know, what, what did you see this, this weekend and what did you take from it? I know you encouraged a lot of us. You inspired us as well. But what did you get uh, from this past weekend? Thanks, Coach. It's, it's just an honor to not only be on here tonight, but obviously to be in the room with all the life-changing people and the energy, the spirit, the camaraderie. Uh, Mr. Hart said something today. He did a quick live, and he said, uh, you don't have to fake it till you make it. He said, you sacrifice until you make it. And I want to honor those who made a huge sacrifice, because I know even on our, our team, uh, across the board, there were many, they didn't know how they were going to do it, mm -hmm. but they did it. And that's just the epitome of what it's going to take to go where we want to go. So I want to thank him for sharing that with us, because this is another uh, thing I'll say about our company. It's not, you don't have to pretend we are who we are. Real deal, holy field. So when we, when we're with one another, we're our genuine selves. We don't, we don't even have to compete with each other to compliment one another because everybody's in their place of being comfortable in their own skin, who they are. So we're able to honor each other and work very well together. And I, I just feel uh, so incredibly uh, empowered when I'm in the room with all you guys. So uh, that was unbelievable in that. Then Mr. Hart said something else along the lines today in the very brief video, but he said that he really wants those who are connected to pay off debt and to live debt free. I'm seeing that that's, well, obviously it should have been where we should have been, my Kendra and I, a long time ago, but let's just say I messed some stuff up, okay? But uh, now this company has given me the opportunity to fix what I messed up. So I'm very grateful for that. And uh, someone watching, maybe you're in a place, uh, you're, you're not where you should be based upon your age or your career path. This is an opportunity to do some major catching up. And uh, not just catching up, but been in, being in a position of overflow. So that's what I felt that I got out of the weekend. All right. Well, you are blessed to so many people and, you know, just the number of people and the, the caliber of people that were there. It, it was definitely worth it. You, you know, we sold this event. We built for this event. And I know people were thinking that they're just hyping it up. They just want to get people to show up. Guys, we didn't do it enough justice uh, from what actually happened to what we said would actually happen. It was just way overboard of uh, the value that anybody that was there. And it's definitely going to, you know, come back to them in tenfold. And, and Dave made that easier with the announcement he made for those that attended as well. But uh, it was truly a, a blessed event. Uh, no question about it. People are excited. 
motivated, inspired, encouraged, and, and ready to go. And that's how you build your business from, from every 90 days. To you. Now everybody's head should be down, just working, sharing the business, sharing the opportunity, doing the three-way conference calls. Shout out to my, my uh, namesake, Sasha, out there. We've been on the phone doing conference calls. She kind of let me make an example of some things that were doing that. And she's already been on the phone doing conference calls. Shout out to LaDonna. Uh, she's already sent me her game plan today as well. Uh, so you can just see the focus uh, that she has. Now, had she not been at that event, who knows where her focus would be today. But I can tell you unequivocally that because she was at that event, because she attended and she was excited and she activated, you know, her life is definitely going to change. So it's truly amazing. Well, last but not least, definitely not least, I want to show it over to my my friend, uh, Dr. Terry. Uh, it's always uh, amazing hanging out with your husband, Thomas. Uh, Thomas is, is just a phenomenal guy. The smile on his face, the, the energy that he brings. I mean, it, he puts a smile on my face when he starts to talk and smile because he's so excited and about, about the military thing that, that he's putting together. And I'm going to put my arm around him and see what I can do to help. Uh, we're going to be pulling that together, I think, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. Uh, again, you've got an amazing partner, but I just got to say, we got to bow down to you too. This weekend, uh, you definitely showed up and you showed out. Uh, all, all I wish is there was an organ that was there that was backing you up. You know, <laughs> That was the only thing we, we, we missed this weekend is somebody had on the organ, you know, backing you up. We, we'd have been saving souls this past weekend, but uh, your messaging was right on point. And I hope everybody gets a chance to get the training that we did see this weekend from all the amazing leaders. But uh, tell us a little bit about um, your experience this weekend. And, and if you want to hit on a little piece of the message that you talked about, uh, it, it was truly on fire and definitely uh, inspiring. Thank you, Daryl. Uh, <clears throat> I'm real. And I want I do want to thank uh, David Hart. It was an amazing uh, weekend. So much was taking place. It seems like that that we needed some more time, but we max tried to maximize uh, every moment. It was so much going on, so much life train changing. You could definitely see that transition was in position of everyone's life in some way or the other, you know, from reuniting together, uh, from seeing people. Uh, I know from our team that had never met one another. We see each other on Zooms often, but to put a face with a name and to embrace and to encourage, it made the difference uh, to meet other team members that regardless of where they were from, that we decided that, you know, that we're all in the same, we're in the same family and it's a Trevorian family. Uh, and so that was so exciting. So, uh, and I know Daryl, I just want to let you know that my husband, he loves himself some Daryl and Maria, but he loves that Daryl. And you know, when he gets to talking about that military, I'm going to tell you what Whatever plans he has for that, you can rest assured this is about to blow up. It's been pillar talk for me, you know, on what he's been saying. He's been talking about this for a while. He retired June uh, June the 1st, and he says that his next was Trevorium. So now he has a different avenue in which he wants to take it. And so he was gathering all the, the uh, uh, Trevorium military folks, retired, active, whatever, in that room all around and was interviewing people. You ever uh, been in the military? What branch? Uh, now we're in the branch of Trevorium and we're about to turn that over. So he's excited about that. Uh, this weekend, I'm excited. Not only that, um, uh, I thought it was a blessing because we actually had people that was on site that joined Trevorium. They, were, they signed up on site. We encourage them. And, and uh, you know, my market thing was that you do not want to walk in that room listening uh, and then David Hart drop a bomb and you cannot be a part of the benefit. And so we encourage people to sign up before you go in that room. And so we had several sign up, several new partners that sit in the room and we were excited about that. Uh, <clears throat> so much began to, uh, that took place. But Daryl, I just want to say that to... Uh, um, to David Hart, thank you for the triple. Uh, for sure, that was good. But we got to run to work with that. That just wasn't given out uh, as a as a promotion. In order for you to see the benefit behind it, you got to do something with it. So that means that it's another challenge. And so uh, I was so touched by uh, the number of people 
uh, and the, the, the phenomenal training that came for, but even came after, uh, I call it my, my, the message. I didn't know we were going that way, but uh, every now and then, if we're going to be successful in our business, we got to be successful in our whole man. And so, so many people came, not only their business uh, whacked up and broken, but they were broken in their spirit. They were broken in their mind. They were broken with family situations and other things, but did not know that the message would touch the hearts. And I had so many people who come to say that, uh, that they cried, they were weeping, that they found themselves, they found their spot, they found where they were located and what season that they were in and why their business had been hindered, you know, because they need to identify. So I'm so grateful uh, uh, that that would touch the heart because my goal is to be able to, uh, uh, Intravorium, is to integrate my whole life with what I do, not just with travel. But uh, you cannot bring in one part of you in Trevorium and have freedom and not share freedom. So I think that that's what I was excited about, what I was able to see. And this morning I woke up and I thought about TJ that uh, we were talking about uh, 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 same spot, different season. And I thought about my two legs back there. I woke up that one leg was in winter and a little other leg was enjoying summer because I had some dropouts. I had some cold to hit. I had some cold to hit on that left leg. I said, but you know what I'm going to do? What happens when you decide that, that between the try harder and don't bother? That's the thing that turned my own life around. When the, what happens between my try harder? My mind said, God, I've been trying harder to get to this four side. I've been trying harder to get my people, the people to understand, to get your three for free. David Hart, don't want your 125. Try harder. What happens between that try harder and why bother? So to shift people's mindset instead of quitting when they say why bother, nobody will come. Everybody keeps telling me no. And so to motivate their own self, that they, uh, they come too far to quit. We got to stick with it. You got to stick and stay because it's already been proven that Trevorian is not a pyramid. Trevorian, uh, it is not faith. Trevorian, no matter what people say, is not a circle. It's not a triangle. It's not a square. It's what it's, it's called to be. It's called to be freedom. And so you got to stick with it. And you know what I closed on, that none of you should ever thinking about uh, uh, quitting. Go on, regardless of what's taking place. Stick and stay because Trevorian, is too legit to quit. We got it going on on this side. Back to you, Daryl. Okay, I didn't have my organ music playing in the background. So uh, again, again, just amazing. I, I'm just so happy and excited about so many of your futures that are out there. That That's the best part. We're changing people's lives and and like Cynthia was saying, that the, the travel is great, but you know, being able to impact somebody's life when they need money to do something, uh, this company is definitely doing it. So I'm going to close it out this way. Uh, just a shout out to David and Adela uh, yes. Hart for doing what they have done. Um, I know some of the story and, and, and where they were and when they were putting this together, the trials and the tribulations and, yeah. and how they could have quit a thousand different times. And that's how I know God, God has his hand on, on this business because the average man, the average woman would have said, nope, enough is enough and just throw in the towel. But they decided to keep going, to keep moving. And because of that, they've created a future for literally thousands upon thousands on thousands of, of individuals that are out there. So David, uh, as I do, I've, I recently started calling him Captain. You know, uh, I call him Cap sometime and Captain. Captain, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts uh, for you and Adela and what you're doing and the sacrifices that you and your family uh, have made to all put us all in a situation to go to the next level. I want to thank a uh, uh, shout out to uh, Tanya Evans. Uh, if you ever want somebody to help light up a room, uh, you put Tanya uh, in that yeah, room. She is audience. one of the most energetic persons out there. And if I was a betting man, I'd bet that she is going to be an ambassador because she has a never no quit attitude and, and just just amazing. You know, you have a heart of gold. Personality is, is also gold. And we're just excited. And there's so many of you, I could say that too. Todd uh, Strand, I, I don't know, but man, you, you're you're definitely a blessing to, to all of us as well. And what I'm trying to say here, ladies and gentlemen, is that the team that's been assembled here uh, so far is a team of people 
that uh, literally have their hearts in the right place and helping each and every one of us, all of us move to another level. You just got to plug in. You've got to make the decision that I want to do that. You've got to find out the schedules that the companies put together, the events that the companies get putting together. And if you do that, the worst thing that's going to happen to you, I used to say, is you're going to travel uh, uh, and, and go to some amazing places, but you're going to save some money on your taxes. So I'm going to add that in there as well. And, and you're going to travel. And yeah. if you stay the course and you stick and stay like my, my favorite ambassador, uh, Deborah Taylor says, you stick and stay. There's no question about it. You can build a financial fence around your home that nothing can can penetrate. So God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Thank this is guys. an amazing company. Take advantage of it. And we'll see everybody on the, the beaches, beaches of the world. Good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow night, Marie and I, tomorrow night, Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 o'clock East Coast, 2 p.m. Uh, in 2 a.m. in the uh, across the pond. Across the pond. Bye, you guys. Good night.